Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on August the 10th, 2016. The title of the message is Rivers of Living Water. And the Lord Jesus began, I came to drink water, for I was thirsty, but the water I drank was bitter to the taste. In surprise, I studied the vessel from which the water came. It looked clean, well kept, but instead of producing sweet water, it produced bitter water that made my stomach churn. My children, I have said in my word that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water for a thirsty, dying world. But how can you sustain the world on bitter waters? Refreshing water must be clean, pure, free of contaminants, and sweet to the taste. If you, my children, instead produce brackish, contaminated, and discolored water, then who will you sustain? Your waters give indication that there is a serious problem in you. Do not be deceived, my children. If you are full of bitterness, anger, rebellion, and all other kinds of sins, you cannot produce sweet water. What is inside of you, however well hidden, will reveal itself when you open your mouth or by your mannerisms and character. The heart is faithful only to itself. It produces what it contains every time without fail. You might be able to hide the corruption in it for a while, but eventually all of it will spew out and reveal itself. This is the reason why I keep on telling you to guard your heart. Guard it against outside influences that can corrupt it and feed it only that which is good and acceptable in my sight. The issues of life come out of your heart. Therefore, make sure to put good in it so you can get good out of it. Remember also that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is born in your heart. What you allow the Holy Spirit to cultivate in you will grow in your heart and spring out to bless others around you. Therefore, keep your hearts pure that it may bear much good fruit. Besides, I constantly visit you to see what treasures are born in your heart. Whatever is good, I bless and increase. Whatever is wicked, I cannot bless or add to. Ultimately, the condition of your heart is your responsibility. If you cling to wickedness and refuse to let it go, I cannot add to it what is good, for the two cannot dwell together. You are my children. Follow my example. I loved all without guile or malice. Do the same, and forgive one another of trespasses against each other. Each day, before you lay down at night to sleep, empty your heart of all unrighteousness. Do not lay down with anger, bitterness, malice, gossip, unkindness, or lewdness in your heart. Empty your heart of all that is unlike me, and go to sleep in peace, knowing your heart is pure. My children, you may never know, tonight may be your last night on this earth. Do not depart the earth with unrighteousness in your heart. Remember, only the pure in heart shall see my father's face. Get rid of the brackish waters, for it will upset your belly and cause you to be ill. Treat the bitter waters to make them sweet. Treat them with love, forgiveness, kindness, and humility. As you learn to walk in this way, you will be a spring that constantly produces sweet waters only. A spring from which many draw wisdom and strength. Yes, my children, I want you to be a spring that produces sweet waters, a tree that bears good fruit. As I have told you before, the world is hungering and thirsting after righteousness. Though they still live in wickedness, they desire what is good. But how shall they know what is good if there is none that will bear my good news to them? Yes, it is true that not all will be saved. Indeed, many will perish, but it will be at their own hand, not because they were never given an opportunity to change. Go forth, bear this life-giving water, the good news of the gospel, into all the earth. This was my final command to my disciples before I ascended into heaven. Fulfill it for my sake. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.